after uploading my latest video I got lots of feedback from friends and family and they told me they want to see Australia and they say leave leave that garden behind and show us where you are at the moment so here we are in uh, Australia it's uh, sunny and hot and oh and this is uh, our car Holden Commodore I don't think they have these cars in Europe they're really spacious and they feed a lot of kiteboarders here inside let's see what we have in here a lot of mess <laughs> one more thing to the puzzle my kite my board surfboard <laughs> boyfriend surfboard he's dirty and stinky underwear yeah this is how car kiteboarders car look like okay enough about my car let's get back to my favorite topic that is kiteboarding kiteboarding changed my life and i'm pretty sure it can change yours a lot of people tell me we don't want to kite we are too old for this sport it's not for us but how do you know if you never tried i mean you don't want to have fun playing with the waves <laughs> and just have so much adrenaline and be stoked like we are i mean fair enough learning something new when you're older it's a pretty big task but there is a lot of older people actually most of my friends that are kiteboarders are way older than me well even my parents my mom and my dad are kiteboarding and they learned like a couple years ago so it's possible there's also a lot of famous people that are kiteboarding former president of united states barack obama learned kiteboarding at age of 55 there's also richard branson who is loving kiteboarding and he is 68 so i assume he didn't learn that long ago so he must have been in his 60s when he first took his kiteboarding class and actually the oldest kiteboarder that i could find online uh, is at the moment 86 year old and he is from brazil here i'm gonna link his video he learned kiteboarding when he was 80 and he's shredding until now so big props to this <laughs> to this guy really inspiring uh, figure learning kiteboarding when you're older it's actually a really good idea because you're more aware of dangerous situations so you're gonna listen to safety lessons much more than a younger person and you know you don't have to fly high and do all these crazy movements to still have as much fun as young people you know this uh, idea of going along the water touching the water and just being outdoors is like the most amazing thing you can actually try if you want to start kiteboarding you definitely want to start it at the legit and proper kite school where you're gonna learn everything from the beginning but if you don't know if you want to spend as much money for the sport that you don't even know if you're gonna like it's actually a pretty good idea to get a trainer kite it's like one two meter two line kite uh, that you can buy for fifty to hundred dollars on internet and it's a pretty great idea to start there and to learn how to fly it and actually learn if you like the idea of being pulled by a kite this is actually what you're gonna learn on a kiteboarding class you're gonna learn how to uh, how to be pulled by a kite when actually going on your little board so the better you are at kite flying the easier it's gonna be for you and you're definitely gonna save a lot of money for additional classes with your, with your instructor I can already hear the wind picking up so I'm gonna wrap up this uh, video blog and see you at the beach.